Buttock augmentation is a very commonly performed procedure nowadays. It can be performed using a couple of different techniques. One is with the Brazilian buttock lift or autologous fat transfer procedure where fat is liposuctioned from areas of the body and then re-injected into the buttocks to give the buttocks an augmentation. And the other method of buttock augmentation is through the use of buttock implants. Well, there is a certain weight or fat content requirement, if you will, to be a candidate for the quote-unquote Brazilian buttock lift. If there is not enough fat available in other areas of the body for a buttock augmentation using that method, buttock implants can be placed. The fat transfer operation is a much less painful operation generally than the buttock implant operation because there's really no muscle work involved. The buttock implant operation, on the other hand, does involve a fair amount of discomfort for generally a two week period or so. I've gone to offering my patients special pain pumps. This has been very helpful in the management of post-operative pain. It's made the recovery much more comfortable for my patients and it has enabled them to decrease their dependence on pain medication to be taken by mouth. Many patients return to work after just one week. Very few patients after a buttock augmentation can return within two to three days to their work activities. It's also somewhat dependent on what the work activities entail. The cost for buttock augmentation can vary pretty widely based on the type of procedure that's chosen, whether that be a fat transfer operation or an implant buttock augmentation operation. And with my office management staff, I sit down in a conference and we determine a price that's appropriate for each individual patient.